Hi, Richard from SerpWorks here, and I'm going to give you a quick overview of this fascinating and powerful new SEO tool. Now I've performed a search on Google for the keyword Web Design Sydney, and as I scroll down, you can see the SerpWorks toolbar has been populated with all of the SEO metrics directly underneath each site. Now this first section here is comprised of all the majestic SEO metrics. In these two cells, we have the site's trust and citation flow, and we've also included the trust ratio which is the figure you arrive at when you divide the trust flow by the citation flow, and the closer this figure is to 1, the better. In the drop-down section, you can clearly see all of the topical trust flow categories that this site is most influential in. You can see here this site's inbound links have been topically categorized as recreation and travel. This means that this site's strongest inbound links are coming from other websites that also have inbound links categorized as recreation and travel. So for this search, which was Web Design Sydney, the optimal inbound link category would have been computers, internet, web design and development, which is this red color here. So just by scrolling down the page here, you can see how easy it is to check the topical relevance of all the inbound links for the sites on the first page. So if you were gonna compete in this industry, the last thing that you'd wanna see is all of these topical categories for each site being the same red color because that would indicate that all of the sites have their inbound links coming from other sites that also have inbound links about web design and development. And in theory, it would make it very difficult to beat those sites. You can also view the majestic backlink count here. And because this search result is pointing to an inner page on the website, we show you the total number of links pointing to the root domain and the inner page itself, which gives you a comprehensive overview of how strong the entire domain is even though it's an inner page that's ranking. The next module here contains all of the Moz metrics, and from here we can view the strength of a site's page authority and domain authority. It also gives us a very comprehensive overview of the other great Moz metrics such as Moz Trust and Moz Rank. Just by looking over the Moz metrics here, we can easily identify the quality of domain authority a site has when we compare it against the Moz Trust and Moz Rank. It's easy to be impressed with sites that have a high domain authority, but if their MozTrust and MozRank don't measure up accordingly, it's a sure indication that their high PA and DA wasn't achieved with quality links. And of course, the reverse is also true too. When we see sites with a lower DA but their MozTrust and MozRank is high, this means that the links they have are usually of a much higher quality. In the Ahrefs module here, you can see how we show the links from the live index for the root domain and the inner page. This gives you a much more accurate overview of the inbound link strength behind a page. You'll often see inner pages ranking highly in the search results with only a few links pointing to them, but the root domains of these inner pages have thousands of links behind them, which is why we show you both metrics. In this cell, you can see the amount of referring domains pointing to the site's root domain. This makes it very easy to quickly determine how good the site's spread of inbound links are. When we compare the number of inbound links to the number of referring domains, the closer these numbers are to being even, the better. It's definitely a weak backlink profile if we have 500 inbound links coming from only 25 domains. You can also see we've listed the number of external outbound links on the page and the Ahrefs URL rating and domain rating. Now the percentage figure you see here in the anchor text cloud is the exact anchor text percentage of the keyword that you searched for. So if I just search for Web Design Sydney, this means that 13% of all this site's backlinks have the exact anchor text of Web Design Sydney. So if I do a search for a slightly different keyword like Web Designers in Sydney, and this same site was ranking, then the anchor text density percentage would show a different figure. If you click on the anchor text density cloud here, you can see this pop-up window of all the site's keywords anchor text backlinks. You'll also notice that we've highlighted the actual search keyword in red, so you can easily find all the partial match anchor text backlinks as well. These partial match links are also very powerful, so it's important that we can easily see these as well. You may see some cases where some sites have a 0% anchor text density, but when we dig a little bit further into the anchor text cloud, you'll see that they have quite a few partial match backlinks, which are really boosting up their rankings. These partial match links are a lot safer and nearly just as effective. Moving on to the SEMrush module, we display the total number of keywords a site has visible in the top 20 organic search results of Google, according to SEMrush. 
and in this cell you can easily see the amount of traffic the site is getting every month. When we click on the keyword cell, we can view all of the keywords this site is ranking for, the positions those keywords are ranked, the search volume and cost per click for the keyword, and the actual page that is ranking for the keyword, and the share of traffic driven to the website from this keyword. And if we click through here, we'll be taken straight to the SEMrush results page for this exact URL. Next up, we have the on-page metrics. We can easily view how many heading tags the ranking page has, and what content is inside those heading tags. This is fantastic for on-site SEO because it gives us a really nice overview of what all these ranking pages are doing with regards to their on-site SEO. I use it to check what sites are doing with their H1 tags and to understand what's working for different industries. Sometimes you'll see a site outranking lots of sites below that have much stronger link metrics, but when we inspect their on-site SEO, they have a very clean and unified tagging structure and the keywords within the heading tags are perfectly weighted and well optimized. For example, if we look at this third site here, it has the highest trust flow and domain authority, and it also has the most links by far, but you can see that they have two H1 tags, and when we take a look at the content in them, you can see that this second H1 tag just has the exact keyword in it, which definitely isn't optimal. So the heading tag module makes it very easy to compare what different sites are doing, and what's working for particular keywords or industries. Here in the word count cell, we can easily view and compare the total word count for sites. By just scrolling up and down the page, you can easily see what the industry standard word count is. All of these pages have between 500 to 2000 words on them. So the average word count for these pages is around 1300. I use this word count metric to quickly gauge the average amount of content required to rank for a particular keyword or industry. It also makes it really easy to spot the differences in the results. Sometimes you'll see a high ranking site that has a very low word count so you may want to pay particular attention to the type of links that page has as the page is really ranking well with hardly any content compared to the other pages. And in other industries you'll notice that the top pages have the highest word count so if you were thinking about competing in that industry you'd need to be sure that you had a similar word count or higher. Here in the keyword density cell you're provided with the keyword density for the exact keyword that you search for. The keyword search for was Web Design Sydney. So just by looking through these results, I can view the exact keyword density that each web page has for the keyword I typed in. This makes it very easy for you to determine what Google deems to be the correct keyword density for this search term. You can see here that there are three of the top five sites that don't even have the exact match keyword on their page. So if you were thinking about competing for this keyword, you'd want to be sure that your keyword density was very similar to the top five pages here. Every industry is different of course, and sometimes I see that the top five sites have an average density of around 5%. So if you were thinking about competing in that industry, you could safely assume that your keyword density could be up around the 4-5% to mark as well without any issues. And remember, if we change the search result phrase slightly to web designers in Sydney, then all of these results in this cell would change because the tool calculates the keyword density for the exact search phrase you typed. Moving on to the domain age cell here, this is pretty self-explanatory, but it's an extremely powerful SEO metric. Just looking through these results, I can see the average domain age is around 10 years old, so you'd definitely have your work cut out for you trying to bring in a fresh domain into these results. The domain age cell is fantastic for finding discrepancies in the search results. For some keyword searches, you'll see some similar results like these, but then sometimes you'll notice a domain that's only one year old ranking in position two or three. So the question is, how were they able to rank a one year old domain higher than nine other sites with an average domain age of 10 years? When you see this happening, it pays to have a really good look through that site and its backlink profile to see what they're doing differently. You can see we've also included a page rank cell. Now even though Google haven't updated the page rank metrics since December 2013, this can still serve as an indication of the domain's potential strength. And in the last two cells, we have our social metrics. We show you how many Google Plus Ones and Facebook likes the exact pages received. So in certain industries, these metrics can be a lot more influential on your rankings. You'll sometimes notice that the top five sites have very similar link profiles, but the top two sites have the most social shares against their pages. If we hover over the settings tab here, 
you can see that we can disable all of the tooltips and you can also close all of the drop down metrics if you just want a broad overview of the search results. You can also just click on any of these top cells and you'll be taken straight to the results page of the provider. For instance, if I click on this trust flow cell, I'll be taken straight to the results for the exact domain name that is ranking. Guys, absolutely nothing comes close to the SerpWorks toolbar. No other SEO tool will allow you to see such a vast array of critical SEO metrics in such a short amount of time. We've aggregated the data from the biggest and best SEO metric providers for you, so you can now use the Google search results as your very own SEO dashboard. Guys, that's it for this video. You can grab your license right here on the website and you can download the SerpWorks browser extension from the Firefox or Chrome store. Thanks for watching.